Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today to uh, do a little video on a comparison. So, the new Miller Multimatic 235 just came out. So, what we have here is we have, we have a Multimatic 215 and a Multimatic 220. So, we, we kind of put them all together to give you a size comparison, size difference, you know, where, where they stand as far as front screen looks, uh, where the power buttons are at, how big a spool they hold, that sort of thing. So in this video, we're going to kind of go over all three and uh, give you some differences. So let's start out. The, the, the 235 just came out. Uh, it's a 220 only machine, but it has a 60% duty cycle at 170 amps. So very, it's got a bigger duty cycle. So comparably, this one has 25, and this one has 40%. So bigger duty cycle, 240 standalone machine it does fit a large spool so you can fit that 12 inch diameter spool while you're in there 33 pound 44 pound spool these two only fit the 8 inch so you can only buy 11 pound spools of wire for them um, and, and that's that's a big thing because right this is in like a 255 multi mac 255 package but it's it's less money and it's a little bit lower rate rating amperage rating but still a good piece of equipment so I wanted to show you something on this too. The MIG gun that comes with this Multimac 235 is a 250 amp MDX gun taking as consumables. The, the MDX gun that comes with these two is an MDX 100. So it's a smaller gun, smaller consumables, uh, not as big duty cycle as the 250 amp gun that comes on the 235. So I'll walk around front here to kind of give you a comparison on these screens. Now we look at the new Multimatic 235 and check out how big that, that wording is right there. Bigger, easier to see. Now if we step over to the 215, you can see a lot smaller, kind of hard to see. Not, no, I'm not knocking it, but I'm just saying it's smaller than the 235. Then we step over to the 220 and it's a little bit bigger than the 215, but still smaller than the 235. So it, it, it's, these two kind of have the same front screens on them. Then we step over to the two. 35 much bigger screen bigger buttons easier clearer to see uh, If we notice too on button is on the front of the 235 these two units the on button is in the back of the machine They still all have two gas ports. So one for TIG one for MIG uh, that comes standard. They all have auto set uh, The 235 does not pulse and does not have AC TIG but it does have DC TIG, this has DC TIG, this has DC TIG and AC TIG. So the 220 has both. Now, if, if your name of the game is you want to do everything and you want to you want AC TIG and DC TIG, then buy the 220. It's a great machine, 40% duty cycle, like I said before. Um, maximum material thickness is 3.8. It's, it's, a, it's a good all around machine. This machine is going to run right around 3,000. Now, when we jump over to the 235, it's right around $2,100, the 235. So, a lot cheaper, $900 cheaper. And then we have the 215 in the middle, which runs right around $1,600. Now, to throw into the mix that I don't have is a 255, Multimac 255. That machine is going to run you about 1000 more than this, so about 31 3200 Now, this is just bare-bone machine, no accessory, no cart, no TIG kit, but... $3,100 for the 255 and that machine can pulse you can hook a push pull gun to it so it's stepping in from this is like a light fabrication industrial then you jump to a 255 you're getting more capability and more accessories to hook onto that thing this thing only takes a spool gun these all take spool guns so you can't put a push pull gun on any of them the and then the 215 has been very popular um but they're again lower duty cycle 25% but it still does DC TIG, MIG, stick. I mean, it's a great little machine. It's very light. It's all wrapped up in one. Uh, for 1,600 bucks, it's a good, good price for what you get. Um, now, in my personal opinion, if I had a dedicated, say, barn that had 230 only, and I knew all I was gonna ever do is MIG weld, maybe a little bit of stick, I'd pay $2,100 by the 235. Great machine. I don't need a pulse, so I'm not going to step up to a 255. I don't need a push-pull gun, so I would stick with this. For $2,100, you can't beat it. Now, if I wanted the AC TIG, you got to buy the 220. That's the only way out of this thing. So these two don't do AC. The 255 doesn't do AC. Only the 220 does AC TIG. So if you're going to ever do aluminum TIG welding, 
you gotta buy the 220. Now, you're limited because of your spool size, but you got AC output. That's great for three grand. I mean, that's a heck of a deal on this whole package because it works very well. I mean, it, and that's just my personal opinion on these units. Uh, the 235 welds really nice. Like I said, if you were just gonna MIG weld and that's all you're ever gonna do, maybe stick weld, go with the 235. You got a bigger duty cycle. It's a great machine. It actually can fit the 255 cart. So they got the stack on cart. You got a bigger cylinder rack in the back. It's pretty cool. So all in all, I mean, awesome machines, awesome lineup. Um, I hope I answered everyone's questions on this. If you've got any more questions or comments, please leave them down below and we'll do our best to answer them. I know the biggest thing right now is which one do I pick? Where do I go from here? So I hope that answered everything question. Stay tuned for more. Thanks again for watching.